My name is Brad Fraser. My name is Spencer Shunk. And this is Old Movies for Young People. And today, the movie that we will be discussing is The Stuntman, starring Steve Railsback and Peter O'Toole. Directed by Richard Rush, uh, written by Lauren Marcus and Richard Rush, and Academy Award nominated film for a script, director, and best actor for Peter O'Toole. This movie is such a mindfuck. Right from the beginning, uh, it's got one of the most cinematic intros I've ever seen. We start on a film set. We're filming some kind of action sequence. We have a helicopter taking a shot from the air, but we also have things that are going on in the everyday. We have a couple of cops who uh, try to arrest a guy at a diner who turns out to be Steve Railsback. He's an escaped convict. He gets away from them uh, already looking like perhaps he is a stuntman in a movie doing all kinds of rolls and flips and fighting moves. <laughs> And then eventually ends up on a bridge where he causes an accident. But that actually turns out to be a movie stunt, which we learn when the helicopter comes up from beneath the bridge and we see Peter O'Toole and his cameraman. What happens from that point on is we're never really sure what's real, what, what's not real, what's a movie, what's a stunt, and what's real life. There's a beautiful scene where the entire town where the film is being shot is, has gathered to watch something happening on a beach and they're not sure what it is. And there are a group of soldiers on the beach preparing for something when suddenly a plane comes in and starts to strafe them and people are literally blown to pieces, wounded, dying, bleeding. The crowd is shocked, they're horrified, and then it all turns out to be just another shot for a movie. But it's the shot that brings Steve Rails back down to the beach where he meets Barbara Hershey and Peter O'Toole and is given a job in the film. And also protected from the suspicion that he might be the cause of the accident that may or may not have killed the stuntman who went off the bridge. Barbara Hershey, another underrated actress that we see far too little of, turns in a terrific performance as the lead actress in the film. Hey! Hey! Come on! It's okay. It's gonna be all right. Peter O'Toole is a sort of megalomaniacal director who strives to manipulate the lives of his actors and his crew and basically everyone around him. Off screen and on. So we're never really sure, are we in the movie? Are we in the movie in the movie? Is none of this a movie? And he's basically master of ceremonies for that whole thing and playing everyone off one another and making everyone crazy, including the viewer. All I know is he tried to run me down. Barely. Now, why on earth would he do that, I wonder? Didn't get a chance to ask him. He was coming at me too goddamn fast. You want to get home for Thanksgiving, you better figure the guy coming at you is trying to kill you. Learn that from the gooks. The gooks? That has a nostalgic ring. You really did call them gooks. I thought that was just Time magazine. And it's kind of a weird relationship between Peter O'Toole and him because we have to wonder in the first place, well, why did Peter O'Toole defend this guy? He just showed up, the cops just showed up looking for him, and all of a sudden he decides in a moment, you know, I'm going to take him under my wing, I'm going to totally uh, disguise the fact that he may have just killed the guy that was working for me. Get out of here before I figure out how to hang you with the manslaughter charge. No explanations, Jake. I do not have any. But maybe he does. Go on, Jake. Ask him. Hey, don't blame Why me. Why have I not, Bert? Because you're a fraud. Is that it, Bert? Because you're just a ridiculous dad devil with a head filled with cement. Bert here grabs the bread. That's number one, the bread. Right, Ace? Right. He then screws the shot up. He screws me up. He screws you up. He's a hopeless yo-yo, Jake, but he's not dead yet. It's also an, an undercurrent of... Um male bonding that has a very odd feel to it. Now, it's no different up here than it is on the ground. It's the same gag, it's just a little scarier, that's all. 
but that's what you get paid for. Yeah? How much? Ah, you're stealing candy with this one. You get 600 bucks. Yes! Oh, Christ, watch it, will you? What do you think a stuntman is? He's a professional. If the camera jams, you get 600 bucks. And if Eli says, let's do it again, you get another 600. You're kidding! Oh. Peter O'Toole, whom you never know what his deal is anyway, comes across like he, he could fuck anybody in the movie quite happily and will not only physically but mentally too. Yeah, his character Eli Cross uh, definitely reads as gay for some of it, but, but then we have the whole backstory of his relationship with Barbara Hershey's character, which is a huge plot point and really fucks up Steve Rail's back because he uh, turns out to be insanely jealous. There's also a, a mystery running through the movie of what does Steve Railsback's character do mm -hmm. to be chased by the police, and we never know for a very long time if he did something horrible, if he killed someone, if he's trustworthy, if he's not trustworthy, and when we we finally get to the scene where he reveals to Barbara Hershey why he's being uh, pursued and I'm not going to ruin it for you by telling you what it is. It is one of those scenes that is so well written it walks that line between extreme tragedy and extreme comedy so well that you literally don't know whether to laugh or cry. He just didn't want me hanging around because he was banging my old lady. So I went down to his store and I started banging on his door. And I'm banging on his door, it's two o'clock in the morning, that son of a bitch ain't nobody. Open up! Oh, you're him! Peter O'Toole was robbed when he didn't get the Oscar that year. He is charismatic, he is funny, he is maddening, he is absolutely crazy, and yet he's the most sane person in the film. Is it okay to be depressed about uh, you showing the cops the film? You don't really trust me, do you? Come here to me. You constantly amaze me. You don't go to movies. What are you, a communist? What were those handcuffs? Some sort of decoy disguised? Did you not know that King Kong the first was just three foot six inches tall? Different really seem to be having a little bit of trouble uh, summing this up for you. We're not the only ones. In fact, when this movie was written, the studio passed on it originally because they said, we don't know, is this a comedy? Is it a romance? Is it a drama? Is it a movie about making movies? Yeah, you know what, I kind of love how it straddles all those lines, and for me, it actually delivers on each one of those levels. It delivers as a comedy, it delivers as a romance, and it totally delivers as an action film. The set pieces are outrageous. Yes. And uh, it also delivers on its sort of philosophical themes, which are never made overt uh, or explicit, but kind of run uh, on the undercurrent throughout the film. God damn your fucking eyes, how dare you yell cut on my set. Well, what the hell, Eli? 33 feet is nothing. It is 22 seconds, Henry. In 22 seconds, I could break your fucking spine. In 22 seconds, I could pinch your head off like a fucking insect and spin it all over the fucking pavement. In 22 seconds, I could put 22 bullets inside your ridiculous gut. What I seem unable to do in 22 seconds is to keep you from fucking up my film. Are there any flaws with this movie? I mean, it might not satisfy everyone who's looking for a very coherent and clearly explained movie where they always know what's going on. Some people don't like it when they're uncertain what's going on. This movie, you're always uncertain, basically from the beginning to the end. I love living in that uncertainty. Mm. For me, it satisfies me, not just emotionally, but also intellectually. The Stuntman, Richard Rush, Peter O'Toole. It's well worth a look. Spend your money, rent the show, buy it. Watch it. See it. Love it. Dream it. Be it. We'll see you next time on whatever Old this show is. Old movies for young people.